watercolor crystals, astounding illusions, rainbow flowers, pattern fabrics. Today, we'll show you some unusual ideas that you can use to create your first masterpiece. First, you'll need a piece of black paper or cardboard. Draw the outline of a sunflower. Get some white and yellow paints. Get some yellow paint on the brush and then dip the same brush into the white paint. Paint the petals using a double brush stroke technique like this. Move the brush smoothly to get a yellow petal with a white rim. Add depth to the second row of petals with a little bit of brown paint. Draw seeds with neat strokes. Add texture to the center by stamping it with an eraser. Add a little white in the center. Done! Then Go's favorite flower will brighten up your room, and your room became a little warmer and sunnier. For the next craft, you'll need a piece of paper. Use a pencil to draw a crystal. Cover the lines with thin strips of scotch tape. Get some paint. Make a watercolor fill of the drawing. Start with purples and pinks. Shade the edges with blue. Make sure to keep the center of the crystals lighter. Let the paint dry. Remove the tape. This beautiful amethyst crystal is neat and geometric. And it wasn't even too complicated. And now you'll need a sheet of paper, a plastic tray, and string lights. Outline the tray on the paper with a marker. Cut it out. Hot glue the sheet to the bottom of the tray. Cover the string lights with the tray. Turn off the overhead light and turn on the string lights. You've made a light table. Perfect for playing with sand. Pour the sand on the paper. You can draw with your fingers and make smaller lines with a thin stick. You can also write inscriptions on it. First, you can practice creating abstract images and lines, and then come up with patterns, landscapes, or even portraits. The process of drawing with sand is simply fascinating and, by the way, it calms the nerves quite well. For this craft, you'll need a palette. Squeeze paint onto the palette. Each portion has its own color. Get some white paper. Dip your finger in red paint. Leave the excess paint on the plastic. Press your finger to the paper and leave bright prints. Do the same with green and with the rest of the paints. Draw a twisted wire across the sheet with a black marker. Connect the colored specks with wire. You painted some beautiful Christmas lights with hardly any effort. You can even call over your baby siblings or cousins. It will be even more fun to finger paint with some younger kids. For another craft, take an A4 size landscape piece of paper. Dilute some green paint and cover the entire sheet with it. Try to make the color even without stripes. Make the second layer of paint a little thicker. Leave unfilled figures like these along the edge of the sheet. Then do it again using a darker shade. Make another row of light cone-shaped figures. Repeat the pattern and finish it off with some dark blue paint. Add some stars with white paint. Highlight the outlines and draw the tree trunks. You get a very unusual pattern with a beautiful color gradient and perspective. It looks so stunning! And now draw a square on a piece of paper. It's easiest to do this on a piece of graph paper. Starting from the very edge, draw and paint over squares from four cells. Leave the distance by the height of the square itself. Keep this much, like we're showing you, between the figures and fill in all the remaining space with the squares. Separate the columns of figures with lines. Connect the squares with each other like a checkerboard. Darken parts of the drawing with a pencil. Carefully follow the sequence of the shadow location. Darken the selected areas between the squares. Darken to almost black. Make the remaining light parts in the reverse way. First, press on the pencil strongly and then weaken the pressure. As a result, you get a smooth exit from the shadow. We made a hyper-realistic 3D grid. Black squares create the effect of depth, and the light shading in the right areas give the picture volume. Next, you need a cutting mat. Cover it with cotton fabric. Attach with binder clips. Cut a candle. 
Draw flowers on the fabric with a sharp tip of the candle. Starting from the middle, paint the petals over with purple paint. Blur it with water and gradually move into a lighter shade. To make the paint easier to apply, you can wet the fabric. Make the center yellow. Color the second flower. Painting with the brush over the fabric and watching how the paint spreads, it's so magical! Paint the leaves green. Emphasize the streaks. Frame your picture. The result is a beautiful piece in the batik technique. Delicate flowers on a fabric canvas look very spring-like. Next, begin to draw the outline of a woman's head on a piece of paper. Draw the hair, the neck, and the shoulders. Leave out a centimeter from the contour and draw a broken line. Draw a face at a short distance. Also make the edge of the face a little jagged. Connect the figures with lines. Fill the space with evil monsters. Color the picture with colored pencils. Cut the face out along the contour. Bend it in the middle. Fasten the drawing on the paper. Paint the inner world of the heroine with felt-tip pens. The result is a dynamic picture with the effect of the face tearing off. This will delight and surprise all of your friends! For this multimedia craft, you will need buttons and felt-tip pens. Prepare a few pieces of paper. Fasten buttons to the paper randomly. Use your imagination and start drawing. Surround a button with striped petals. Draw a small stalk and leaves. Look! A bright flower bed starts to blossom around the buttons. Most of the buttons are on the sheet. Let's turn them into a flock of balloons. All we have to do now is add a basket for some passengers. Add some clouds and a bright yellow sun. We can make a little man out of this lonely button. And not just a man, but a real superhero in a super raincoat. This way, with the help of ordinary buttons and felt-tip pens, you can not only practice your fantasy, but also have a great time. For the next art hack, you will need a rotating cake plate. Tape a sheet of paper to it. Get some paint on a brush and you're ready to start. Put the tip of the brush on the sheet. The rotating stand will do the rest. Rotate it around the axis and get circular patterns. Simple, really? Next, we have another craft for those who like drawing with felt-tip pens. Draw a petal divided by lines into several tiers in the center of the sheet. Add another petal just like it. Add petals in a circle to make a flower. Take a red felt-tip pen and draw a second row of petals. Insert new petals between existing ones. Switch the red felt pen to orange and continue to draw the flower. Look how simple! Darken the middle and surround it with two or three arcs. You can expand the drawing and add all kinds of new things. Done! Put the drawings on the wall and admire your beautiful rainbow flower. Here's an idea if you're drawing in a notebook. Draw an uneven circle, like this, with a hole in the middle. Fill the sheet with similar circles in different sizes. Decorate the inner circle with thick dashes. Direct the dashes inward from the external line. Leave free space between the rows of dashes. Do the same with the other figures on the sheet. An original three-dimensional illusion is not difficult at all to make, and it looks so impressive! How much time do you spend on social media? Let's put that time to good use and get creative. Draw a square with a black pen on a small piece of paper. Make the corners rounded. Inside the square, draw another one identical to the first. Draw a double circle in the center. Draw paws on the Instagram logo and a cute cat muzzle. On another sheet, draw a square again. Draw the Facebook logo in it. Draw an amusing stitch on top. Now, draw a small square with the YouTube button. Draw Mario on top. Draw the Twitter and WhatsApp logos. Print pictures in their original colors. Definitely modern art! Did you like these art ideas? Let us know in the comments which ones you're going to use to create a masterpiece. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell so you don't miss all the best art lessons from Troom Troom Select.